Hello everyone, in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus and also the tricks to learn uh, these differences. Okay, so first point, so what is the first difference? So type 1 diabetes mellitus, okay, before I discuss the differences I want to talk about these numbers, type 1, okay, so 1 is a small number, okay, so a small number and it's also refers it's written as i and type 2 type 2 is a bigger number than 1 so it's a bigger number okay so it's a bigger number than uh, number 1 okay so uh, and it, it 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 is written as double i and it's also written as double i so this is in in the in there uh, these numbers also you know will hint us the many differences between these two diabetes mellitus so let's let's look at what are these differences uh, first point is that this this diabetes mellitus is previously known as insulin dependent diabetes mellitus so basically insulin dependent here this i will come only once because in type 1 we have i only once so it is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus or it's also called juvenile diabetes because mm, juvenile is like children or childhood once a diabetes because child are small right they are they are smaller than the adults okay so it's also called juvenile diabetes mellitus or childhood once a diabetes once a diabetes okay so whereas for the type 2 type 2 number 2 is bigger than number 1 so uh, and this there are two eyes so which means that insulin independent okay so which means this is or non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus okay and also this the, the diabetes mellitus is also called adult onset diabetes because why adults adults the number two is bigger than number one if one refers to kids or children and number two will refer to adult okay so that therefore adult onset diabetes mellitus these are the tricks guys to learn the differences okay so then next is that okay only five to ten percent cases are type one diabetes okay so be here again look at this number number one is smaller and number two this type 2 is bigger so there are less cases of type 1 diabetes mellitus which are only 5 to 10 percent cases whereas uh, for type 2 diabetes mellitus we have 90 to 95 percent cases which is higher than type 1 okay so how we know just from these numbers itself okay so 90 to 95 percent cases are type 2 diabetes mellitus okay and the next is here because it's uh, insulin dependent diabetes mellitus here body no longer makes insulin okay body doesn't make insulin why because beta cells the insulin producing cells are destroyed in pancreas okay so ins insulin producing cells in pancreas are destroyed that's why body no longer makes insulin in case of type 1 diabetes mellitus whereas in case of type 2 diabetes mellitus body still makes insulin but this may not be enough in one case the even if body makes insulins it may not be enough the other case is that body may not use it well or there is insulin resistance okay or there is insulin resistance okay and the next difference is like i said before it's often diagnosed in childhood so number one one referring to child if one is child small right so or teenagers but it can also be diagnosed at any age but often in children and teenagers whereas uh, the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes mellitus is in adults like I said before number 2 is bigger so bigger than child so it's in adults but increasing number of children are also being diagnosed but often it's diagnosed in adults and the next difference is that the onset of type 2 diab type 1 diabetes mellitus it's, it's sudden it's sudden whereas the onset of type 2 diabetes mellitus is gradual okay so then number six is here it's an autoimmune disease because here auto antibodies are present okay so auto antibodies are present in type 1 diabetes mellitus whereas auto antibodies are absent in type 2 diabetes mellitus guys so in type 1 you see this is insulin dependent and so dependent present auto antibodies present whereas it's insulin independent so auto antibodies also absent okay so this is this is how you are going to uh, memorize okay and the next difference is here ketoacidosis because everything is present common so you, you, ketoacidosis is common or ketoacidosis is present okay like autoantibody is present here ketoacidosis is also present okay so it's whereas here ketoacidosis it's it's rare okay so then finally the point number eight is that 
this cannot be prevented okay so type 1 diabetes mellitus it cannot be prevented because it depends on insulin whereas type 2 diabetes mellitus it can be prevented in some people through lifestyle changes okay so these are the basic differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus i hope this video is helpful guys please subscribe our channel to support us thank you very much